Hi, this is Doug Brott. Thanks for watching this video in which we'll demonstrate example problem 2-35 in the text Statics and Strengths and Materials for Architecture and Building Construction. So here is the problem statement and the space diagram as shown on the left. It's a girder supported by columns at A and B. The two beams push downward on the girder with a force of 40 kilonewtons at C and the other two beams push down with 50 kilonewtons at point D. You're supposed to find the reactions. So just like I did, read the problem, look at the illustration, and establish a strategy for solving it. You're going to need to create your own free body diagram and add the unknown reacting components. Simplify the free body diagram, but show the loads, dimensions, and reactions. You're going to show the loads as arrows uh, that, and label it with numbers. Uh, pull the loads from the question text, as I just showed you, and pause the video. Go ahead and do it yourself. And after you've finished, come back and I'll show you how I did it. So here is the uh, problem shown as a free body diagram, which simplifies. Uh, no, we don't have to draw the columns uh, as they're pictured. We just replace them with the forces they apply on the beam. This is about static equilibrium of the beam itself. So we're going to solve for reaction B by using rotational equilibrium and specifically by taking moments about A. So all the distances are going to be measured from A, and each term is going to be distance times force. We're use a sign convention of counterclockwise positive. So I like to start with a positive term. So 7.5 is the total distance from point A to point B. 7.5 meters times B, then minus 40, working left to right, 40 times 2.5 meters minus 50 times 5 meters equals zero. Notice that in each case, a distance is measured from point A to the line of action of the force. And we're only concerned about horizontal distances here because all the forces are vertical. Reorganizing the terms, 7.5B equals 350 kilonewton meters. Dividing by 7.5 meters gives us the answer, 46.7. Add an arrow up, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Now, this tells us that the assumed direction of our load was correct for our, our reaction. When you do these calculations, be sure to use a scientific calculator that can show you the equation that you've just typed in as well as the answer. Don't rely just on a calculator you might find on the computer. You want to know that what you typed in uh, was, was correct. So next we're going to solve for the reactions at A by vertical equilibrium. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. So setting it up, we need to include each force or reaction. A plus B, I like to start with the positives, and upward acting forces are going to be assumed positive. Minus 40 minus 50 equals zero. Now we already know that what B is, so A is equal equal to 90, which is the sum of 40 and 50, minus B, or 43.3 kilonewtons. Finally, we need to check, because it's possible that we made a mistake in our calculations or in a problem setup. So in this case, we need an independent equation to check by. Use some of the moments about B. This is rotational equilibrium. So all distances in this case must be measured from point B instead of point A. So here, 50, and I like to start with positive numbers, 50 times 2.5 is causing a counterclockwise rotation about B, plus 40 times 5 meters, plus or minus 7.5 times A. Reorganizing, 7.5 A equals 325 kilonewton meters, dividing by 7.5 meters gives us the same answers on the previous page. So whenever you do statics problems, always do a check. Thanks for watching.